This video is brought to you by Headshot Tools. Hey there, I'm Gary and I'm a headshot photographer. And if you are too, you know that replacing backgrounds can be a big and tedious and even expensive part of our job. So I do this a lot, especially for new hires for companies and I wanna keep the background consistent across large groups of people. There's not a really great solution to do this that works consistently. There's a lot of still messing around with the edges and you know sending it off to editors and there's a lot of time involved. But thanks to this new software, Evoto, Evoto, I'm not sure, it's E-V-O-T-O, I, I couldn't tell you. That's how you know they're not paying me to do this. I'm just really impressed by this and I wanted to talk about it because I don't even know how to say the name of them properly. Anyway, so you can essentially do AI retouching, right? Like that's what everybody's talking about with this software is that it retouches and it does a really good job and you can dial in presets and all kinds of stuff. But the thing I didn't know was there that impressed me the most was the background removal and replacement, which is literally one click. So I'm gonna show that to you right now. So let's check out the computer over here. So you can see right here that I shot this on green screen. I don't always do that and you don't need to do that for this. This was part of an experiment I did to see if Evoto, Evoto, we'll just call it Evoto, right? It, just to see if Evoto would be able to do a better job more quickly if I shot it on green. And my opinion is that it did. And I used this on two different people today and it did a good job both times from the green screen with no fuss whatsoever. So you can uh, use your raw processing as normal Lightroom, Capture One, whatever, but then you can bring an image over into Evoto, which we're looking at now, and you've basically got different modules just like any other editing software. And there's the portrait retouching, which is pretty good. It, the presets are a little wacky, but you can make your own presets and apply really solid base edits in just one click. If you look at this, I'm gonna show you the before I applied my edit settings. So this is me before my edit settings, and this is me after the edit settings. This is me before, and this is me after. It actually does a pretty darn good job, and that took about five seconds to do, so that was pretty cool. But once you get over here into the background adjustment, the backdrop adjustment module, I don't know, I don't know what anything's called in here, but it's really easy to use. You don't even have to know what this stuff is called. So you can, not only does it give you the ability to knock out the background in one click, and I've been all around the edges of this and it does a very good job. And it also gives you the ability to use different brushes to refine those edges if you want to, and you can you know, use different masks and stuff and really play with it if you like. But aside from being able to export a transparent PNG in about five seconds, it gives you the ability to change the background. And it's got some preset ones in there. Like you wanna make sure that your subject has a pure white background, that's one click away. You want like a decent looking gray, that's one click away. And there's even the weird fabric-y one that looks fine, I guess. But the coolest part is you can upload your own backgrounds. So what I have been doing for years is making digital versions of the backgrounds I shoot for my clients so that I can keep them consistent over a long period of time. And so when you save those as JPEGs or PNGs, you can upload those into Evoto and then save them and even save them as part of a preset. So that means that if you shoot a new person for the same company and you wanna match the background, you click on your preset, it'll do your retouching and drop the background in in literally one click, which is pretty stinking cool. And not only that, but you can apply those settings to a huge batch of images and do like 50 people all in one shot retouching and replacing the background for 50 images in about 10 minutes, which is pretty rad. So I'm gonna show you exactly what this looks like. So I've got this one background, which I took at a client's office. So all of the headshots look like this. And I photographed the background while I was there for this exact scenario. And it just drops that in really beautifully and cleanly. And uh, I've got another company who I have that likes this blue gradient. So I have that as a background and you can drop that in in just a few seconds. So I, I can't tell you how much money I've spent over the years just having backgrounds removed and replaced in batches. And it costs me hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars a year, maybe thousands of dollars a year to do this. 
And now I can do this for six or seven cents an image. And that's pretty cool. So anyway, that'll get you going on it. The best part is that you can download this software and I'll put a link in the description. You can download this software and play with it as much as you want for free. It only charges you, I think, for the images you export. So it's gonna have a little watermarking and stuff on it, but you can download it and play with it and get your settings and see if you like it and check it out. And uh, and I get no money for this. So replacing backgrounds quickly and efficiently is a huge, huge help to headshot photographers. So I hope that this helped you out and that you find this as useful as I have. Thanks for watching.